This tutorial describes how to measure distances and angles between arbitrary locations within your image using Imaris measurement points. By using measurement points, you can easily obtain the distance and angle values between non-segmented volume data and or created objects. Even without creating an object, you can start measurement in the volume rendered image. Start a new set of measurements by adding a measurement points object to your current surpass scene. Under the Edit tab, there are four options that enable you interactively to place points at the required locations. The first two options, All Visible Channels and Specific Channel, are important if you want to perform direct measurements in a volume rendered image. The All Visible Channel option places a point at the cursor position. The depth through the volume is determined by the most intense voxel of all the channels. To start inserting measurement points, the pointer must be in the Select mode. The size of the 3D cursor box can be adjusted with the mouse wheel. Add a new point by holding down the Shift key and clicking the left mouse button at the location of your choice. After placing a second point, a line connecting the two points is created and the measured distance between two non-segmented structures of interest is displayed. Add another point and for each pair of adjacent points, the angle between their common point is computed and displayed next to the angle arc. For multi-channel images, placing points at the correct depth within a 3D image could be a challenging task. So you can either control which channels are visible in the viewing area by selecting or deselecting channels in the display adjustment window, or select the specific channel option. By selecting the specific channel option, a new measurement point is placed at the most intense voxel of the selected channel, even if that channel is overlaid with other channels of higher intensity. Click on the Delete All Points button to delete all inserted points. When measuring previously segmented objects, you can choose between the options Surface of Object or Center of Object. To place the measurement points on the object surface, select the corresponding option. Add a new point by holding down the Shift key and clicking the left mouse button at the location of your choice. Once measurement points are placed, you can modify their position. To do so, you should first select the point and then move it using Shift and left mouse click. Alternatively, the point's position can be interactively adjusted by entering a numerical value in the X, Y or Z field. Under the Edit tab, you can also alter the name of a point or delete a single point. By selecting the center of the object option, a point is placed accordingly. Depending on the type of created object, points are placed at the centre of the sphere for spots and vesicles, or at the centre of the homogeneous mass for surfaces, cells and nuclei. For dendrites and spines objects, points are placed at the dendrite spine centre axis. To change how points are displayed in the 3D surpass view and to customise the display of the information provided for measurements, use the options found under the Settings tab. The Line mode defines how inserted points are connected. So far, all our measurement points have been created in Polygon mode, which connects all points in succession. Switching to the Pair option connects only two consecutive points. 
When we switch to the pair mode, distances are displayed accordingly and the angle measurements are disabled. You can choose between three different shapes of points, tetrahedron, cube or sphere. In addition, you can adjust the point's diameter, line width, font and colour of labels. By selecting the Intensity box, intensity values for all channels are displayed at each point. More information about intensity can be found under the Intensity tab. For all connected points, the intensity profiles of each voxel along the measurement line are displayed in the histogram. The x-axis of the histogram represents the length of the line, while the channel's intensity is displayed on the left-hand side. Below the histogram, you can find the channels and lines selection. Select the channels and lines to be displayed, and the histogram updates accordingly. Select the Statistics tab, and the summarised numerical information is shown. The Overall table lists the total number of points. Under the Detailed tab, the pull-down list displays the available statistical variables. You can select to display either Angle, Distance, Position or Intensity data. As for other statistical values in Imaris, all values can be exported to Excel. Watch our next video tutorial to learn how to place a point within a specific plane when it lacks a solid object or high intensity voxel. If you have questions about these features or any other features found within Imaris, please contact our sales or support team. Thank you for watching this video.